Welcome, thank you for joining me today on my YouTube channel. My name is Kay, and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I've got some knitting, I have a plastic canvas project that you may see back here in the background that I finished that I can't wait to share with you. We've got lots to chat about. So you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to any shops that I talk about. Any project pages for any of my knit or crocheted items are always linked there. My project pages where you're going to find information on patterns, yarns, needle sizes, all of that is over there and I keep that updated so that you guys can easily find that information at any time that you have a question about it. It is a rainy day outside today. It's not currently raining, but it has been. It's very dreary. I think we're supposed to get rain for the next couple of days. I do love rainy days though, so I am cozy in some sweats and I thought let's sit down and chat about some things that I finished and some things that I'm working on. It just seemed like the perfect day for that. I've got my coffee. I hope you've got your beverage of choice, something to work on, and you're ready to settle in and chat for a little bit because like I said, we've got a lot to talk about today. So first, I want to say a huge, huge thank you for all of the support for my decision about Summer Sock Camp and the announcement that I made on the last episode. If you haven't watched that yet, it's episode 178. You can head over and give that a listen. I talk about Summer Sock Camp and the plans for this year, but thank you guys so much for being so supportive. Um, I appreciate you all so much. It was so overwhelming the amount of support and appreciation that I got for kind of taking that step and that stand and saying, you know, we're simplifying things. We're taking it back to what I can handle and manage and what makes me happy. And yeah, anyways, it was just so great to read through all of the comments. I tried to heart all of them. I know I probably missed a ton, especially the last, like this week. Um, I feel like I've missed a ton, but I've tried to read through them all at the very least. I could not respond to all of them because there were so many, but thank you guys so much. Um, if you commented, emailed, anything like that, I really appreciate it. So I did have a lot of questions, emails, things come in about how Summer Sock Camp will run this year. Will there be prizes? How will it work? Will there be cabins? Um, is, can this count as an entry that it is going to be so simple. I'm not going to talk about all the details yet because we are still in March and it does not start till June. So later on, you know, as we get closer, um, we'll talk more about all of the things with summer sock camp as far as what counts, how it runs, but you guys, it's going to be so simple. I'm not going to stress about things and I don't want any of you to stress about things. We're just gonna have so much fun in knit socks. So Look forward to the details about that as we get closer to the knit along, make along, that's probably what we'll call it. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about all that later. <laughs> We're still so far out. <laughs> um, I also wanted to touch base, speaking about the last episode, that the scammers are back. Uh, there were quite a few emails and things came in that comments were being made on other people's comments that looked like they were for me but we're from a, like a fake account saying you had won a prize. I touched base on this before, but because I had so many people contact me about this, I wanted to touch base on this again. I will never, 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 ever <laughs> contact you via a comment ever and tell you that you have won. I will never ask you for money, ask you to text me, give you my phone number. Like none of this stuff, like if it looks weird, it's weird, report the comment. That's all that can be done about it. I can't do anything to stop it. So many YouTubers have these issues as well. There's nothing that can be done with these fake accounts that get created other than you reporting the comment. But know that I will never contact you that way. I always announce winners on here and that is the only way that I announce them. Speaking of, I will be announcing one today from the last episode. Um, but yeah, I just want to touch base on that because I had so many people reach out that were so confused <laughs> about comments they had received. That was not me at all. Not me. Just report them as spam or however it pops up that you see it, it's appropriate to report it because it is a fake account doing that. Okay, so I have three finished items to show you today. Let's talk socks first. 
Oh, I guess I have a little more than three because I did set some dishcloths out. But anyways, let's talk about socks first. So I finished these yesterday. These are a pair of socks from my husband, Eric. I was going to make these for me. Like first I think I was going to do me, then him. And then I was like, no, they're for me. And then I went back to him because the yarn is just, I don't know, it was perfect for me too, but I think he'll really like them. So here's a close up of how it looks. This yarn is by Lollipop Yarn. It is the Wine O'Clock colorway and it was the self striping and then there was a mini skein that came with it. So I did the mini skein for the cuff and the heel, the toe I just did in the self striping because I always just like how a toe looks in self striping. But I did 20 rounds of Knit 2 Pearl 2 for the cuff. The pattern I used for both of these socks is Vanilla Socks on 9 inch circulars, which is one of my patterns and then also a tutorial here on YouTube. Just did the heel flap and everything from that. The only thing I changed was instead of Knit 1 Pearl 1, I did Knit 2 Pearl 2. 20 rounds for the cuff, I think 45 rounds for the leg on this. Eric doesn't really like a super long leg on his socks, so I only did 45 rounds. Um, so pleased with how these turned out. I love, this was my first time using Lollipop yarn and I really enjoyed it. I think I have a couple of other skeins from her that I, I can't wait to use up. I started those on January 26th, I believe. That day it seems off to me, but that's what's on Ravelry anyways. <laughs> so January 26th and I finished them on March 21st. I think that was it about those. I also finished Cassie's socks. These are from my sister Cassie. Whoa, I'm looking at how bright they are in the screen and they are very bright. This was the March this month's Yarnable colorway and it was so much fun to work it up. I started these um, March 10th, the day we left for a trip with my sister and her husband. And I worked on the first sock throughout that trip. So I thought it would be fun to gift them to my sister, Cassie. I did Knit 2 Pearl 2 again for the ribbing on these. I did 25 rounds of the ribbing. I believe I did 60 rounds for the leg. Um, that should be on my Ravelry project page if you're like super curious, but I'm pretty sure I did 60 rounds for the leg. But other than that, followed the pattern exactly. And those I started March 10th, finished March 15th. So I did finish those pretty quick, but we were on a weekend trip. So that first sock just got so much work in the car on the way there and home, which wasn't a super long drive, but, um, and then while we were walking around and eating and things, I was working on those. My last finished object is Santa. Well, I still have dishcloths to show you, but Santa, he's done. I love him so much. So I started this the year before last, I think. I can't remember exactly. I don't put these kind of things on Ravelry because they're not knit or crochet. But this is a plastic canvas tissue box holder. It was a kit that came from the website Mary Maxim. I will link that down below. I believe if you go in there and search Santa tissue box cover, it will still come up. I do have tissues in there right now. So you can see they come right out the top. But yes, I finished him. Take this out so I can show you. I just finished him yesterday. He's so cute. So I've had him out. Um, sitting upstairs because I can't just put him away until Christmas. He's going to sit out for a little bit. We're bringing the Christmas spirit to March a bit so he can sit out and get the proper attention that he deserves. Although my kids did not even comment on him yesterday when they came home, but they are teenagers, so they probably did not even notice him. But yeah, that I finished yesterday on March 21st. No clue the date I started it. But I sat down yesterday and I all I had to do was attach the sides to the top piece, like sew them all together and then do the little edging pieces and attach the wreath. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to finish this because I just really wanted to get it done. So next up 
when it comes to like stitching like that, I have a cross stitch that I am working on. This I started, I have no clue when, year before last, probably, maybe even before that. It will say you are my sunshine eventually. So when it comes to wanting to pick something up to stitch, this is gonna be the next thing that I pick up to work on. I love having like cross stitches or just handmade items, items, decorations, things like that around the house. I just find it so cozy and I have so many kits and different things that I want to make for the house and I'm really getting back into that. So you'll probably be seeing, hopefully, I mean, we'll see where, where things go, <laughs> but more of those kinds of things around here. Dishcloths, I just set these aside. They were in my chair where I had finished them recently, but I have three dishcloths. These were all from the same thing and look how different they look. So funny. So this is the Queensland cotton yarn that I've been showing recently. I don't have the, the number for the collar or the tag or anything here to show, but these are my most recent finished ones. And I have a basket here. I need to get back on track with weaving in my ends. I haven't been sitting down here and really doing a lot of things during the day. And then in the evening, if I'm working on items, it's always upstairs. So the basket with the dishcloths that need the ends woven in is um, about to overflow over here. So I need to work on weaving in some ends. Okay, works in progress. I brought four over to show. I have a new sock cast on that is in a bag by Fat Squirrel. I started these over the weekend, I believe, end of last week maybe. This is just some stash yarn I pulled out. Lang Yarns Chemical Elements Super Socks. I have no clue where I purchased this from. I don't remember, it's just been in my stash. So I am not sure where you can get this at all. I'm sure I picked it up at a yarn store somewhere, but not sure where. So I'm doing my vanilla socks on nine inch. And I love how this yarn is working up. So pretty. So I've done, again, 25 rounds for the cuff. I've just been enjoying knitting a longer cuff and then just the look of a longer cuff lately. So I've got 25 rounds for the cuff and I am just working on the leg right now. That is it. I was so focused on getting the socks for Eric done just because they were so close. So now this will kind of be my main sock project. And let's see, the nine inch circulars I'm using are Chow Gu US Zero two millimeter. I do go down a size for my nine inch because my gauge is looser on a nine inch. That's just how my gauge works. That doesn't mean that yours will be, but that's just how mine <laughs> works on a nine inch. Okay, oh, I think I just moved the camera. <laughs> it was sitting on my bag, apparently. This is my temperature blanket in a bag by Fat Squirrel. I am caught up to, I still need to put in yesterday's color. Um, and again, I won't go through all details of this because I'm showing it every time and it's a year long project, but project page is linked below and the episode where I talk in depth about it is linked there. But here's how it is looking. Still so happy with it. I did have somebody ask if I'm using full skeins of yarn, yes. Um, I don't th uh, like, I don't anticipate that a mini skein would be enough to last throughout the year. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I have full skeins of yarn that I just all pulled all of them from stash. Still enjoying it. Still so happy with it. I've been not been doing a stripe a day. What I've been doing lately is having like four or five days and then sitting down and that's my evening of knitting is catching up on those four or five days of colors that need added. Two more blankets, cause that's other than the socks I finished and Santa, that is all I have been wanting to work on. This one is my jelly roll blanket. This is in a bag by Bags by Awesome Granny. Ah! 
And this pattern, so for the temperature blanket, I should say there is no pattern that I'm following for that because I had a question about that too. Details for how I'm doing it are on the Ravelry project page, but there is no specific pattern that like somebody has written up that I'm following. Okay, so this pattern is a jelly roll blanket by Kay Jones. And I finished the second column for this last night. So this is the second column I just finished last night. So I have two columns completely done. Just scroll it up here. Because it is kind of hard to show. This is the third column. I had this already started. Um, I didn't work on it any last night. I just put my needle in it because I had it on a stitch, stop, stitch holder. Um, but yeah, there's my progress so far. So I'm gonna start working on the third column now, get that completely done and then start my fourth. And I think that's how I'm gonna do it going forward. I am absolutely loving this project. It is so fun. I just have a ton. This is just one of the bag of minis scraps that I have left in here. A lot of these are from friends. And then I did add, cause we had done a swap, a group of friends for minis when we did a weekend trip. And then I've added my leftovers in here too. I started doing that because I know that that is not going to be enough yarn to finish the blanket. So I've started when I finish a project, I take the yarn a five gram mini, three to five grams. It doesn't really matter for this because you can just use it all up and I add it into that bag. The needles I'm using for this, I should say this is a fingering weight blanket and the needles I'm using are 2.5 millimeter. These are my signature straight needles. I will link signature down below. I use the, it's like a swirly, I can't remember what it's called, teardrop, I can't remember. Swirly tip um, on the end and then stiletto point, I believe is what I have for those. It just depends on how sharp you want your needles to be. But that's the details on that. i am been so excited to just sit down and work on that blanket. It's just, I don't know, the whole process of it is making me so happy. Another scrappy blanket in another fat squirrel bag. <laughs> this is my cozy memories. So I got completely caught up on the scraps I had put in here, leftovers from projects. This is a magic knot ball I've started with what was left after the square. I'm using the same exact needles, size, everything for this project. And this is the Coziest Memory pattern by Kemper Ray. And here is the blanket so far. Can't tell if it's all in there or not. So I'm working on doing this last, like squaring it off with the current row that I'm on. And then I'm gonna go through and weave in some ends. But let's see, I marked the ones I added. I added these in on Sunday, a scrappy Sunday. So here is the yarn from Lily's most recent pair of socks, the zebra yarns. Let's see, I added in, this was from a pair of socks I did for Eric. I think it was Opal. Hmm. I don't even remember what that was. But anyways, that was from Socks for Eric. This was a yarnable colorway. I can't remember what this one was either, but I had this in my bag from some socks that I knit, I believe. And then I think I gifted those to someone at Lock 27. This was the mystery yarn. I knit socks for Jenny with that. This was a pair of socks. I believe I gifted these to my mother-in-law. This was Cascade Heritage Prince. This was a homespun house. Ooh, it was a Halloween set. I can't remember what it was called. Another yarnable colorway. And then the March Yarnable, is that the last one? Yes, the March Yarnable. 
So I've just marked the ones I just finished with a light bulb marker there so that I would know to show you. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares is what I added in on Sunday. So happy that I pulled this back out and I'm working on it. I really, really love it. So now I just have to, I do have, cause I had not worked on this for so long. So there are so many scraps in there that are not added to this blanket and maybe eventually I'll add them in. But right now I'm just, as I finish something, I mean, there were a couple in here that had been sitting in the bag waiting to be added for a while. But right now as I'm finishing something, I'm just putting a winding off a five gram ball. That's not even what I need for this. I think I only need like two something grams, but I'm just winding off a five gram ball putting it in here and then adding what's left to that magic knot ball for some other scrappy project. So those are all of the works in progress that I brought out to show you. That's like I said many times before, if I don't show it, I haven't worked on it. Um, that's just what's been worked on within the last week. And I do have a couple of sock projects in my ottoman here. I have a basket over here that has whips and then a ottoman that the top comes off that holds sock whips and I think I only have two in there but I want to pull them out and take a look because I think I'm gonna frog one of them only one of them I think um, and then I'm kind of itching to work on the other one a little bit I'm also itching to cast on a pair of socks for Lily because I I did the pink and white stripes for her but I have these green ones to send to Cassie and I feel like I can't mail them off if I don't have a pair for Lily <laughs> That sounds so silly, but I feel like I have to make a pair for Lily because she might be sad if Auntie Kay didn't send her a pair of socks. So let's take a look in the ottoman here and see what I've got going on for sock whips. Okay, two sock whips. This one is in a bag from Sandy by the Lakeside. And I can't, I can kind of remember. Okay, so I kind of remember what these were. <laughs> this is some yarn from Mountain State Stitches. And I'm doing the follow your path pattern. That is one of my designs. It's getting a little bit blown out, but that is one of my designs. And these are something I do want to finish. It is have a full skein and a mini skein. It is Christmas Eve is the colorway name. So these I for sure want to finish. I have not, I haven't worked this pattern up in so long and I absolutely love it. It works well with any yarn that you knit it with and it's just so fun to knit up. So these are for sure a finish. The other ones are the ones I think I'm going to frog. Couldn't remember what was in what bag. So this is a bag from Mountain State Stitches. Yes, these are the ones I think I'm gonna frog. I'm just not happy. I was trying to use up some scraps and I don't know, I'm just not happy with them. I'm, part of it is the bases so i do not mind at all using a different base like mixing bases when it's a scrappy blanket or something like that scrappy shawl i do not mind that at all but for socks i like them all to be the same base and these just are not and then i just wasn't really happy with how i had done the stripes on the cuff i had meant to like do the lighter color up here and then the black and I don't know. I just wasn't happy with them, so I haven't picked them up to work on them, so I think I may frog these. They just were not working up how I wanted them to. So these are going to get frogged today, and then I will probably start some socks with this yarn still. This is Leftovers. This is Legacy Fiber Arts Tuxedo, I think was this colorway name. I could be wrong, but I knit a pair of socks for my niece Lily with those. So I think I will probably still do socks 
with these. I can't decide. We'll see what I decide to do. They may just get frogged for now in the yarn, put back in the scrap bin, and we'll decide it later. I am itching to cast on a scrappy pair of socks because it's been a while since I've knit like a true pair of scrappy socks where you just grab some random scraps and go. And I'm kind of wanting to stripe like the, um, I have a tutorial for it where I was doing the share a pair of stripes. I kind of want to do that with scraps and just do two rounds in one scrap, two rounds in the next and like stripe them down. So maybe that's what I will do. Pull out some scraps and just do a pair of scrappy socks, socks like that. I think it sounds fun. Okay, that is it. That's all for the works in progress. So we do have the giveaway winner from last episode. I will put that winner up here on the screen. Congratulations. If you would just get in contact with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com, I will just need your shipping information and then I can get that prize sent out to you. We'll do another giveaway for this episode. All you have to do is comment down below and it'll be another yarn and goodie bundle from the prize cabinet. And I will draw the winner for this one on the next episode, which would be episode 180. All right, life stuff. So it's only been a week, so I feel like there hasn't really been that much happen in a week. Um, the boys have spring break next week. It sexually starts this Friday, so they are really looking forward to spring break. They are gonna be going to West Virginia for a little bit of the break to stay with family, and they're really excited about that. I have been doing a lot of organizing, some spring cleaning, just really diving into this house and trying to make a lot of the spaces more functional and work better. And I am someone who thrives on a clean and organized space. And there were so many spaces in this house that, well, there's still so many. I was gonna say that we're not that, but there are still some that are not. I'm looking at the guitar space over here for Wyatt and Eric. I'm hoping it's not just a lost cause. I've got to figure out some storage things for over here to contain all of their picks and little gadgets and cords and so many things and that kind of clutter. I am just someone that that drives me nuts. <laughs> so that is like next on my list. I think I'm going to wait and dive into that next week. The boys will be gone. It, it, Austin doesn't play guitar, so he doesn't mess with it, but why it won't be here. So it'll be so easy for me to just go over and organize and he'll probably come back and be like, where's all my stuff? <laughs> but I can't wait to dive into that space. Just, yeah, lots of organizing and like I said, spring cleaning. That's about all I've been getting into. I haven't been knitting or crocheting or crafting much at all during the day the past couple of weeks because while well, everybody's been out of the house, I've just been cleaning and organizing and it's felt so nice to kind of do that little bit of a refresh on the house. I am still reading It Girl by Ruth Ware with the not knitting, crocheting, anything like that much during the day. There's not been any reading during the day either. So it's just been at night before bed. So still reading that book, but I am really, really enjoying it. I've, this is like the third Ruth Ware book I've read in a row, I believe. And I'm really, really liking them. Um, we're still working through parenthood. We had some company in town and then we were out of town. So it's taking us a little while to get through the rest of it. I think we are well into season four. So we only have two seasons after the current season we're on. Other than that, I've just been watching what I kind of call my trash TV, guilty pleasure TV. <laughs> a lot of things on Discovery, um, Real Housewives of New Jersey. I love that show. What else? Grey's Anatomy. It just shows that Eric does not enjoy watching. So I watch them like on the treadmill or if I do sit down during the day, which is rare um, to watch TV, that's what I'll watch, things like that. But that's about it for life stuff. Maybe, I make no promises, but maybe next week I will do a day in the life vlog. The kids won't be here. It'll just be me. <laughs> Eric will be at work for part of the day. Um, but yeah, maybe I will do a day in the life vlog next week. It's been a while. I haven't done any vlogs since Vlogmas, but I know a lot of you miss them and enjoy them. And I do enjoy doing them. I just, 
I don't know, lately I've just been so focused on that getting things done around the house that I feel like have been pushed to the back burner and not gotten done. Maybe next week, instead of a regular sit down episode, I'll do a day in the life vlog. Let me know below if you would enjoy that next week instead of a regular episode. I know vlogs are not everybody's cup of tea, but let me know if you would like a little day in the life vlog at what I get up to around the house on a day when I'm here all by myself. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys again next week, whether it is for a regular episode or a vlog, we will see, but I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I will chat with y'all again soon. Until then, happy making, bye.